de Montford, the University of Leicester and Gloucestershire, and in positions. Of it was a small presentation of the. Am I audible? Um, you may have 
uh, in your time seen the film of George Orwell's novel 1984, um, where this building is the home of the Ministry of Truth, um, which I think is quite, uh, quite interesting. Um, very often uh, featured in um, films and uh, television, uh, our very imposing headquarters there. But the University of London is uh, known um, around the world, I think, for its high quality, its research expertise of the colleges that go to make it up. University of London was the first university in England, I should say, to uh, admit people irrespective of age, gender, race, religious belief. Prior to the University of London, if you wanted to go to Oxford or Cambridge, first of all, you had to be a man. You had to be um, a, a member of the Church of England. Um, you also had to own a horse. Well, none of these things were required in order to go to the University of London. And I mention this because the philosophy of the University of London has always been opening its doors to the widest range of people based on ability rather than uh, wealth or ability to pay for their education. And as I mentioned, you can see here the countries in which we have students literally dotted all around the world. Um, many students, some of, some of our students will study independently, entirely on their own, whilst the majority, something like between 70 and 80 percent, will receive tuition through local tuition providers um, across the world. Now the University of London is a federal university, that means it's made up of a number of independent colleges. There are in fact 18 independent colleges within the University of London today, um, and 12 of them as you can see there, collaborate to deliver what we call University of London International Programs. And um, as you can see, the lead colleges include some very famous institutions, um, such as UCL, University College London, um, Queen Mary College, Birkbeck, King's College, SOAS, Goldsmiths, and of course my own college, the London School of Economics. Many of these colleges specialize in certain fields, um, and amongst them are some of the highest ranked institutions in the world. So the University of London International Programs is a collaboration between 12 of the University of London colleges that provide the content of the degrees in the subjects in which they specialize. And as you can see, some of our external students, our students studying on international programs around the world, have been very famous. We have seven Nobel Prize winners that have studied this way, including Nelson Mandela, who studied for a University of London law degree whilst he was in prison uh, on Robin Island. Um, and of course, Ronald Coase here is a well-known figure at the London School of Economics, um, professor of economics um, and Nobel Prize winner. Um, this goes to show what you can achieve during a University of London degree. We hope that we will see some future Nobel Prize winners coming out of uh, AAT Business School here in Chennai. Now, what, what is the advantage of studying with the University of London? Um, well, there are a number of things on this um, diagram which give you some ideas, but I just want to pick out one or two. Um, I think the most important thing is in the bottom left-hand corner uh, about access. This program gives access to students who otherwise could not come to London and study a University of London program. Um, it enables people to study in their own country at a fraction of the cost of studying of going to London. You, prop you all know what it costs to study abroad. This, this cost is getting higher and higher every year, coupled with the living costs, coupled sometimes with difficulties um, of getting visas. Um, plus, uh, many young people um, actually don't want to go abroad and study. They still want to get an internationally renowned degree, but they want to do it at home. They don't want to have to go and live in a foreign country at 18 years old. I certainly wouldn't have wanted to do that um, when, I was a, when I was a student at the LSE back in uh, back in way back, whenever, whenever it was, back in the 19th century. Um, so that's one of the most important things. It's about access. It's about access to um, our, um, our 
access to our courses. Um, I think we also would focus very much on the uh, employment opportunities that these programs give. Because they are a global program, they are recognized by employers around the world, especially international companies, multinational companies. So for example, our degree in accounting and finance is recognized by all of the major accounting bodies for exemptions, ACCA, SEMA, Institute of Chartered Accountants in England, Wales, CPA, Australia, give maximum exemptions from their own professional qualifications for graduates of our accounting programs. And our graduates have gone on to study in, uh, to, to work in such um, companies as PricewaterhouseCoopers and other large accounting firms. Our banking and finance students have gone on to careers in some of the biggest banks uh, in the world. And so employers know what a University of London degree is, they know what it stands for, and um, our, our students find it very, um, very, very easy to go on and find very good jobs. Um, the last thing I just want to draw attention to is that these programs are very well recognized by universities around the world for postgraduate study. Um, and so many students take the opportunity of doing their undergraduate program in their own country, and then if they want to go abroad to study, they do so at the postgraduate level. They might go to the UK or to the United States or Australia or Canada to do their master's degree. And at the LSE, we've had many graduates from this program who've come on to do their postgraduate study at the school. We've had students going on to Oxford, Cambridge, um, Harvard, Yale, some of the top schools in the world um, have been very happy to accept um, graduates from this program because uh, they know the quality of the students that come out. So five reasons why you can rely on the integrity of the University of London program. And I think this is important because this is one of the things that in our view differentiates the London program from other uh, offshore university provision. Uh, the first one, of course, is that the programs are owned by the colleges of the University of London. Um, the colleges, in our case, the LSE, has written this program. It is the same program written by the same people um, as students would study internally. Um, secondly, um, the standards and the quality are the responsibility of London colleges. We make sure that the examinations are set to the same standard, that the content is kept up to date in the same way that um, we do for our internal students. Of course, all examinations are independently externally examined, and it's worth saying that um, we are one of the few uh, universities now which, uh, in the UK which conducts pri our assessment primarily by examinations. So the students studying here in Chennai will, will take their examinations at an independent examination centre. All of their scripts are sent to London and are marked by our own examiners within the college. So they are completely secure. This is one of the ways in which employers know that our programmes are of a very high standard because they know that they've been independently examined. Of course, as with all UK programmes, we are under the um, scrutiny of the Quality Assurance Agency who regularly will um, assure themselves that our standards and our academic processes are um, as they should be. Um, and finally, just to emphasize that all students graduate with a University of London degree, it doesn't matter where they study, they get the same degree, the same degree certificate, um, and of course are entitled, if they so wish, if they haven't already been to London, to come to London uh, when they graduate and do their graduation ceremony in London. And the ceremonies are usually presided over by Princess Anne, the Princess Royal, who is the Chancellor of the University of London. So this is something that students rather look forward to when they have the opportunity to, to come. We also conduct um, graduation ceremonies locally for students who can't travel to London. So one of the privileges of my job is to travel around the world uh, officiating at graduation ceremonies. Uh, I have a very well-traveled gown that's probably traveled around 20,000 miles in the last year.